Uh, I'm going to skip the beginning of lesson 72 because really all that you have to do there is draw your own line and the little graphs it gives you. Uh, and then you just chart it in the form of y equals mx plus b. But uh, you can probably figure that part out. But we will talk about negative angles. So we're looking at example 72.2. Uh, and previously we've had rectangular coordinates where we had it looked like four at 210 degrees. We've done stuff like that, but now it makes it a negative uh, angle. So what we do here, well, we still first start by drawing our coordinate grid. If you remember, this was 0 slash 360. We called this 90, okay, 180, 270 and we would go counterclockwise. Well, all a negative angle tells us to do is to go clockwise. Now we go clockwise 210 degrees. So if I was thinking of it as a negative, it would be something like this, negative 90 would be there, negative 270 is there, and then obviously negative 180. So I go to where negative 210 would be, since we're going backwards, and that would be somewhere in this area, draw my line to the origin. Remember, we always take the triangle that goes horizontal, uh, or connects with the x-axis, sorry. And so now we have a triangle here. And if this whole, if this degree is 210, well, we always subtract from the x-axis. So we subtract 210 minus 180, take the absolute value of it, making this angle 30 degrees. And obviously this is 90, making that 60. So I'm going to recreate the triangle over here, make it a little bit bigger. So we actually have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we know the hypotenuse is 4. Well, they make this one easy on us. Obviously, uh, more often than not, you're probably going to have to use sine, cosine, or tangent and the inverse in order to find the legs of the triangle, but you should know how to do that now by now. So we're just going to use the 30, 60, 90 triangle principles and know that the short side is always x, the long side, the 60 degree side, is always x radical 3, and the hypotenuse is always 2 times x. So if we're going from the hypotenuse to the short side, well that would mean we divide by 2, so the 4 turns into 2, so this side length is 2, making this side 2 radical 3. I know there's a glare there, but that's, that's 4. And then we write our answer as, okay, well this is, <clears throat> uh, this is R and U. It does go up and it is a negative R so we write negative 2 radical 3 R plus 2 U. Uh, and if you wanted to solve the radical you could and that would come out to be negative 3.46 but we uh, can leave it as that form. And that's all you do for negative angles. You simply work backwards. That's the end of lesson 72.